hip-hop on the grind with Override. The man who controls the hype. He is in the building. Can everybody, even though we don't have too many people in the studio, can everybody in the studio make some noise? <laughs> Word up, word up, word up, word up. Mr. Nappy Cat, man, yes, finally sir. cashing in his money in the bank and all <laughs> that, bruh, man. On some edge vibes, bruh. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> hey, man, you can put on the headphones, bruh. Be comfortable. Right. This is home, bruh. This is massive metro hip hop on the grizzly grind. No diggity doubt brought mm-hmm. to you by SA Hip Hop 24 7 as well, man. Nappy Cat in the building. How you, you doing, know. King? Hey man, I'm good, I'm good, you know. Been out here working a little bit tired, not yeah. gonna lie. Yeah, but I'm feeling amazing, man. Yes. Everything yeah. is good. Yo man, so we played um Jan uh, December twenty seventh, bro. Mm-hmm. Like is that your birthday or something, dog? Mm-hmm. <laughs> Not my birthday, it's somebody else's birthday. Oh, oh okay. Oh, so, and, and I hear the song on some, you know, so it's obviously a lady and all that. And of like, course, of so what's course, the story behind the song? Hey, man, it's always a lady, bro. And <laughs> unless it's some other, hey, look who's here. Okay, wait, wait. Before anything, before we start your interview, man, I, I gotta do this for this for this man, bro. Like, yeah. man, he's in the building. <laughs> Fundo in the building. Fundo back, bro. How you doing? No, word up, word up. Okay, yeah, so, 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 as, as yeah, yes, sir, yes, sir, yes, sir, yes, sir. All right, cool, my king. Yeah. Okay, so, yeah, talk to us about the girl, about this, oh, uh, yeah, talk, talk to us about the song and the girl in that song and all that. Um, <laughs> uh, so, okay, so, I'm gonna be straightforward about it, you know what I mean? Okay, it's not any bad blood between me and this person right now, yeah. you know, it's all love between me and this person and everybody else around who was part of the situation but mm. it was like yo i got played dog <laughs> oh, i got played dog like i was a kid i've never felt so 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 like like weak in my life yeah, you know what i mean yeah. um but i feel like also a big part of it was my fault because you know when you rush into a situation because of thinking with your heart and not with your head uh i felt i fell for this person deeper too deep quicker than i should have you know yeah, what i mean i didn't yeah. take time to think yeah. about it i didn't take time i just went for it and man was i taken for a ride bro but shit, Damn, this is what it bro. Is. so the song is basically yeah. me letting out my frustrations mm. about because it's not a love song don't get yeah, it twisted yeah, it's, it's really a hate not. song yeah yeah, <laughs> <laughs> yeah it's me talking about how you know you did this to me and fuck you for that you okay, know what okay, i mean okay, excuse just, my language yeah, but okay, yeah. you know yeah Damn, bro that's what it is man yeah december 27. And, and it's really dope how like because now like i was having a chat with my producer like like, like everyone apparently is saying that i'm glowing and i'm happy all of a sudden yeah yeah that. yeah um my producer was like yo bro like you know overwrite every time you go to studio and record you always come out happy bro so like mm-hmm, i need you mm-hmm. to actually keep doing this every mm-hmm. time you feel a certain way my g please man i need you to put that all out in the studio so can you just touch on like the importance of like expressing how you feel man like you're real feelings bro Ooh. and what it does for you man like you know psychologically emotionally physically yeah, and all yeah. that yeah like that's 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 where that's where hip-hop resides in my opinion you know what i mean yeah. letting out what you're feeling in that moment mm. in the studio when you're recording when you're writing um it's it's therapeutic mm. you know what i mean it helps you us as us as hip-hop artists we tend to be lone wolves we tend to be people that don't really have a place to run to when we mm. have problems but the mic is there you know Mm -hmm. what i mean Mm -hmm. so you let the mic know what you're going through Mm -hmm. you know what i mean Mm -hmm. and it's not like the mic can speak back but it can comfort you that's how i feel about Mm -hmm. it and i'm very i'm very strong on stating my emotions and my opinions in my music that's where my best music comes from because i'm not about trying to chase making a hit Mm -hmm. you know what i mean Mm -hmm. um if it's gonna be a hit it's gonna be a hit but what's important is that i'm saying something to you as Mm -hmm. my listener and Mm -hmm. you know kind of helping myself which is also um a big reason why i'm releasing this new project this remix tape called death of hip-hop yeah but this one is <laughs> it's less emotional or whatever but it's more disrespectful mm. about the state of where hip-hop is in SA right now mm. um and i'm releasing it to people point now nah, for uh, real no no i'm laughing because <laughs> i see where you're trying to lead me bro we're gonna get there bro we're gonna get there man we're gonna get there man um okay but before anything my king mm-hmm. is um Yo, bro. So now you introduced. We got introduced to you through Kafula. One must die, and yeah, you yeah, killed yeah. it, and all that. Nah. And then, it. and then we were like, "Yo, 
um, only now you can come through for an interview so mm. that we can actually profile you like properly, properly and all that. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. So now this is it, man. This is the profile in my king. Mm. And um, before anything, bro, like who is Nappy Cat? Um, how did it all start for you? And like, yeah, how did the hip hop bug like bite you, bro? Oh, sh- <laughs> well, actually, um, hip hop, hip hop came along into my life like when I was really young. Mm. Um, I think I was in like third grade, fourth grade, roundabout. And it started with 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 battle rapping. Yeah. I used to I used to like we used to just during break, you know, people start a circle. Yeah. And then like yeah. you know you standing in the middle with somebody else going bar for bar yeah, with each other. You yeah, know what I mean? Yeah. Freestyling and stuff. So that's how it really started for me. I really liked how 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 I don't know. It felt like something was burning inside me mm. whenever whenever I had those moments. Yeah, you know. Yeah. Uh, so you're, you're actually taking me back. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yes, you know so. what I mean. So that's where it really began for me. I used to write poems too, and at some point I decided to explore towards the music. Mm. Um, this was after uh, discovering Kanye, Kanye mm. West. Okay, so 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 what what year is this? Because you're a relatively young cat. So you telling me third <laughs> uh, grade? Um, what, what year is that? Ooh, third grade. Okay, if I was in matric in 2020. So you're in the matric 2020. Yeah. Damn, bro. <laughs> hey, these, hey, these young kids, bro. Now, now these young kids are out here on interview vibe while they matriculated in 2020. Man, man, go play. Okay, yeah. Okay. Damn. Hey, we're trying to make it happen in the yes, best sir. way, man. Yes, sir. So that was like, oh, nine years before 2020, right? Okay, so that so that's basically 2000. You're in grade three in 2011, Somewhere bro. Somewhere around there, I don't Damn, know. Yeah, bro, I was finishing my trick and like, well, no, <laughs> like I, I was in I was in grade eleven in, in 2011. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, no, yeah, bro. Yeah, I caught man, dog. There's some point I kill the kill Hey, 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 next Saturday, mate. Yeah, come <laughs> <laughs> Yes, sir. Okay, cool. So now, um, so okay, so this is 2011. You're in grade three now, mm. and then um, when did you start like making the music? Like, what year was that? And like, what was happening in your life for you to actually like? Yeah, get on the mic like finally okay making the music took me a while um i remember when i was in the seventh grade i really wanted to start making music but it wasn't connecting and then mm. in the eighth grade uh some guy that i used to be friends with i was asking him every day like yo bro when are we going to the studio to try to try you know mm. and one day he was just like you know what let's go today yeah and i was like oh okay <laughs> you know i didn't expect him to tell me let's go today so i was kind of nervous i didn't know what to expect but i got there and funny story um, the people who who basically I'm gonna say run that studio the, and one of the recording artists uh, hangs out with Reese now. Yeah. You know what I mean? He's, he's oh snap! He's, yeah, yeah, he's a pretty dope upcoming. I don't I don't yeah. like him though because, yeah, because the way the way they treated me when I first walked into the studio they made me feel small and yeah. I don't ever appreciate that. You know yeah, what I mean? Because yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm new. I've never made a song before and the yeah. first thing you do is make me feel inferior. You feel like you yeah. need to flex on me. Yeah. Like what kind of a so. No, don't worry. We're gonna smoke. Like, don't worry. Like, <laughs> make it this track put me on it too, bro. I'm on as well, Let's bro. Let's go, man. Yes, Let's sir. go. You yes, know, sir. I'm about that action. Like, it's it, it's crazy because he, that one that's with Reese now. I'll yeah. give him his props. He's definitely ahead of me right now. Yeah. I respect him for what he does. His music is dope. You know what I mean? But all the others are like. Yeah, they kind of hit like a dead end, and I just want to put that out there. Abu like, Abu Abu words, Abu <laughs> Abu Abu bro. No, 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 no. But with other people that were there from that studio, oh, that I recorded snap. okay, for okay, the first okay. Now word, yeah. That kind of hit. Yeah. A, they kind of hit a dead end, and it's like for me, I'm mm. always gonna say this, and I'll forever say this. That's like that's like a warning, you know, because. Mm. I have so many blessings behind me, so many mm. people that are supporting me, so many people that love me and so much love mm. to give. Mm. If you stand against that, mm. you're not going to succeed. Yes, you know sir. what I mean? Can we talk about that? Because now when we first met, bro, um, one thing I noticed about you was that confidence, bro. You know what I'm mm. saying? And like, and like, um, and also like how you ask for things, bro. You're like, yo, my nigga, can you just give me that? Give, I'm, I'm like, hey, this guy, who does this guy actually think he <laughs> is, bro? And then and then I remember you 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 said that like nah, bro, like me and my parents raised me to be like, you mm. know, confident and all that stuff. You know, I remember that very well. And and that actually stuck with me like ever since, bro. So now like can you just touch on like the importance of having like that structure um behind you in order for you to be your best self, bro? To be your best self. Mm. So uh having a support system behind you is in my opinion actually more important than having the talent of making music mm, because yes, sir. the support system behind you aside from giving you something to fall back on when you're feeling down and all those things it's like it it also gives you 
the confidence to do crazy things mm. you know what i mean mm. i was a matric and i hosted an event in december and i booked a reese for yes, you know sir. what i mean yeah, i, I yeah. opened for him yeah. because if you're not going to give me that opportunity then i'll host my own event and open for a reese yes, you know sir. what i mean yes, and the sir. only reason i was able to have that confidence and able to even think of ideas like that and even begin starting back like, to execute such things was because i do have those people behind me mm. you know what i mean mm. i do have people that 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 system that every day i know somebody's telling me yo listen i believe in you you're mm. about to do great things mm. you know what i mean mm. it doesn't always need to be somebody funding you mm. or but just that message that words bro yeah, know, yeah yeah somebody that's going to tell you like yo you really inspire me bro keep doing what you're doing yeah. it makes me wake up and record that extra song that day yeah. you know what i mean yeah. makes me stay up and write that extra hour you yeah. feel me? Yeah, yeah that support system is really 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 important yeah man so can you just talk to us about like your crew man so now you got a crew you guys call yourselves um bimbo city and mm. all that stuff <laughs> man and like yeah talk to us about the importance of having a team mm. and like what you guys have accomplished so far as a crew and, and a, as a unit because now sometimes bro like i see these i see these rap niggas bro they come through with a squad the deep, entourage right <laughs> but then but then out of that squad deep mm. man only two niggas are working there you know funny story actually that's exactly how i was in matric you know what i mean like when i when we were hosting bimbo city mm. so bimbo city is not a group anymore it fell apart yes sir we're just in it's just a brand now it's yeah. an event you know what i mean i'm here with my boy actually dj boppin yeah. this is this is the guy that has actually stuck with me yeah. through all of yeah, it yeah like I, I know this nigga face yeah, yeah 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 there were about five or six of us trying to host this bimbo city event but me and boppin did most of the work at the time you know mm -hmm. and that was a bit of a red flag at the time we should have noticed back then but, but right now you're like young you know what i'm saying so yeah. obviously like, yeah yeah we don't right now we don't have a team it's me and him figuring it out you know the two of us you don't you don't need a team you need a just one that one partner that understands you that mm. gets where you're going gets your vision and has the same vision y'all can take over the world if y'all wanted to you know what i mean mm. Mm. just mm. what it is damn man speaking of like taking over the world man like your track is popping dog like i actually actually f with it I so so much that. bro Thank so you. i think i'm gonna hit you. I'm, gonna, I'm gonna hit it again bro uh <laughs> december 27th bro mm -hmm. uh brother like uh, brother honey gotta know bro that she did you wrong dog. yeah she 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 made me make a hit so i appreciate yeah, her dog. for that yeah, shout yeah, out bro. to her for that <laughs> and, and 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 she also gotta know bro like did, did, did you play the song for her though actually when i cut off the situation when i was like you know what i'm not chasing you anymore my final word was like i made this song i want you to hear it so i sent it to her and i was like that's the last thing i'm saying and, 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 uh, man, hey homies are bad up in the studio man uh, but then you know what's worse than being bad in the studio my, is my producer complaining so let me just hit you with the it's december 27th mm -hmm. and then um yeah nappy cat man i'm gonna be doing the most I'm gonna be talking about hip-hop as well man mm -hmm. this man has a lot to say about like yeah hip-hop sa hip-hop man i know this homie is gonna pull out names as well he's gonna pull out names of the hat as well yeah yeah, yeah, he yeah. ready for the smoke, so yeah, like I yeah, your, fully. your favorite rapper don't want under the smoke anyway. <laughs> <laughs> Pumi, it could be you. Oh man, you understand that, Pumi? <laughs> yeah, Pumi. I don't even know you, but my boy know you, right? And it could be you, man. It could be you. That you was, could be the problem. Yeah, that was yeah, and you could have like hurt my homie on the twenty seventh of December <laughs> last year. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? He even <laughs> dated that time. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? That was Nappy Cat with the song titled December twenty seventh. Yes, man. sir. Long live love, man. Bro, bro, bro. Okay, so now let's just talk about like I don't know, man. The state of the because now like I don't even prep interview questions anymore. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Because now like every time I do that, you guys always go, you know, like off ramp and all that mm -hmm. stuff. So like for me, it's all about the energy and like where yeah, you're no, going. Yeah, I can feel that. I can you, feel you that. You know what yeah. I'm saying? So let's talk about like the state of the game. Um, currently, you know, SA hip hop and all that stuff. Um, how you feel about it? Yourself in the space and like what you think you're gonna be bringing that's different okay oh this is <laughs> my favorite part yeah okay yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> so i really do not like where sa hip-hop is right now mm -hmm. i don't i don't the last time i feel like i was satisfied or happy or proud of what sa hip-hop was was 2016 when reese nasty and shane eagle were coming up you know mm -hmm. what i mean mm -hmm. and reason being reason being i feel like part of the lifeblood of hip-hop itself is the competition mm, you know what i mean like mm, the fact that mm, we're always in constant competition mm, with each other these days everybody's more like oh i'm happy in my own lane mm, you know i just want to make i want to try and make a hit release it and make money yeah like, like i saw that whole lucas raps thing like dog like a whole a whole 
Lil Lil Mang Mang, I forgot his name, man. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Whole Lil Mang Mang, just Lucas, he just Blackie, just everybody in the game, dog. Mm. You know what I'm saying? And like with actual rappers, it wasn't like a, a big Tossa thing where mm. where Tossa was just disrespecting Chance and all that. Yeah, you know what I mean? he this this little nigga was actually dis- like he had bars for Chance. You, you know get what I mean? And 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 uh, and then like when I was doing my research, because now we have to do a show. Yeah. Um, we found out that Black uh, that Blackie was in WhatsApp groups telling everyone to sway these guys, and then we found out that, and then obviously we saw on. Um, on the gram that Lucas Rap don't want none of the smoke. You know That's what I mean? Crazy. But like dog, you the rapper, bro. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you the rapper, bro. What do you mean you don't want no smoke? No smoke. Like, yeah. No, 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 my brand, my brand, and my that's brand. Exactly. That's Your what brand? everybody that's what everybody's about. Like everybody's like, nah nah nah. It should all be peace and hugs and whatever. If personally I made I made uh Death of Hip Hop, and I'm not gonna go off on a tangent with that yeah. right now, but it's a, it's just basically a tape of remixes, you know what I mean? Where I, I'm getting not too personal, but personal with everybody yeah. in the in the yeah. rap game, you we know what to, I mean? Need to do because that, I have an opinion. Yeah. I feel like y'all are too soft right now. Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah. Nobody wants to be in, nobody wants to be in the the best anymore. Everybody's yeah. too comfortable. Yeah. You get me? So it's like I feel like my purpose, where I fit in, what yeah. I'm going to do yes, sir. is. I want to get on everybody's nerves. Yeah, you know what I mean. Yeah. And I mean everybody. I didn't hold back on anybody. Yeah. And by yes, no bro. means. Oh, be fired a shot at me, bro. I'd love to respond, bro. Oh, for real? Yeah, I can do that. Yeah, bro. we should, bro. Like, yo, man, man, I don't like the guy overwrite always talking that smack. And then, and then, and then I, I come back and it becomes, you know, yeah, you even, know what even I mean? though we know what's really going on. It's friendly but aggressive competition. Yes, sir. You get yes, me? Because I don't know most of the cats that I mentioned in the, the but I have respect for a lot of them, mm. like people like. Um, Nasty C, yeah, A Reese, yeah, Blackie, you yeah, know? Even even that song, even that song you like we played before this one, you like you you're like, man, I got respect for Nasty C. Yeah, Aries, I really tried to the hold it. Yo, can't key. even handle candle hold up to a me. Candle up yeah, to me. Yeah, 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 yeah. You know, I got I got respect for a lot of them. You know what I mean? But obviously, some of them I don't I I don't really like because I feel like you're you're. You're acting too big for your shoes. Yeah, you know like, what like I mean. Killing the culture as well. Yeah, you're killing the culture like and who, stuff bro? like that. Um, I, I don't really fuck with Lucas raps like that. Okay, cool. why? 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 Because why, why? he's got like the Lucas raps. Because um, Lucas raps has potential to be a very dope artist. Mm-hmm. He has potential to be one of the ones that's killing it the hardest in the game. You know what I mean? But to me. I feel like he behaves too much like a leaf in the wind. You know what I mean? Like wherever yeah. the game is asking him to go, he yeah, goes. Yeah, you feel me? Yeah, yeah. And it's like um damn facts. Yeah. Also, also you know, as a hip hop artist, you do need to come into a room and be the hardest in the room, you know what I mean? But the first time I met Lucas, he was so humble and respectful cuz I was with big people at the time, you know what I mean? My family members. Dog, you know? dog like like <laughs> was it that day at sports scene? No, 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 no. Okay. The first time I met him was at was at Zone 6. You oh, know? Okay. Okay, cause cause like 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 um me and Biggs right, we had a thing um I think a week before we're talking smack about rappers obviously mm, right, mm, mm. and then and then and it's almost like the homie Lucas raps caught wind of what we said mm. right. So now when we saw me like that, that day I saw you at the sports scene um gig and all that yeah, yeah. it was the same day we met that homie. Mm. So now homie he squat deep with his people and all that. Me it's two men it's a two man gig bro mm. myself and Biggs. And, and then you could see like, they're, like, they're like yo man there's those niggas there that were talking smack and all mm, that mm, stuff mm, man. Mm, mm, so now we wanted to test the water and be like oh bro okay Biggs just go take a photo let's just see what he does yeah and then like so Biggs went and then what he did was he, he, he was so sly about like avoiding you yeah. were just supposed to be like nah nigga I don't want to photo I don't want to photo yeah, yeah, yeah don't I get you no I get you my problem is with him like, like I'm saying the first time I met him he was cool yeah, you know what i mean yeah. because like i'm saying i was with my family yeah big people you yeah. know people that are known in durban people that are so yeah. it's like he was cool he was so respectful like you know yeah yeah, yeah let's take a picture you know yeah we're gonna work right? then every single time i've met him after that he wants to make himself a big dog like i've already seen you in your small statement don't don't oh, try to play snap. that with me you know oh, what i mean snap. i'm yeah. not gonna take that yeah you know yeah, yeah. also I don't give a damn how much of a celebrity you are. If we know each other, dog, it's common courtesy to greet each other, right? Yeah. Which is why um, I have love for the brothers, but I don't really, I don't really like the the major these boys' demeanor. You know what yeah, I mean? Like, yeah, yeah. I'm I'm cool with them. You know what I mean? But like, you know, they have this. They also have this tendency of making themselves way bigger than they should. You know, like yeah, yeah. We've met before. We spoke yeah. before. You know. Yeah. Uh, what's wrong with simply just coming and being like yo cat what's up you know if you find me somewhere yeah, you know? yeah. so it's like um i don't really i don't mess with that i don't i don't, I don't like that 
Um, Damn, yeah. Only people that I've met that I really respect in the hip hop game and feel like I have hella love for Nasty C yeah. and um, A Reese is cool too. And yeah. Hannah, Hannah, the girl in the do rag. Oh, one of the most amazing people I've ever met. Love her to No, no, nah, I don't. I don't know. Like you probably you must link me up with Hannah Montana, bro, and then and then um we'll, yeah, like we'll do something and all that. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Okay, cool, man. So now, like, uh, what's what's your okay? So now, before we actually talk about like your future plans and all that, now, yeah, mm. um, I've realized now just based on like research and all that that there's like a four stage, like uh, there's a four stages to like an, an MC's come up. You know what I'm yeah. saying? So now there's a come up where you're just rapping and whatnot. You know. <laughs> Rapidly rap rap stuff. Damn, I just saw the time. Damn. <laughs> okay, so rap stuff, whatever, and then you're recording, and then your music is your music then gets registered and all that, mm. and then you quarter to blowing up, then you blow up. So now I just want to know, like, where are you in your journey, bro? Um, in my journey, I feel like I'm standing like just before the blow up happens. Mm. You know what I mean? But personally, I'm not really stressed about it. Because because um, you already run Bimbo City, which yeah, means and you I run have a, the game. I have a lot of things going on. You know what I mean. And blowing mm. up isn't one of my my main 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 concerns. Reason being, um, if I make music to blow up, then that means I make music for validation, and that's not what I'm doing it for. You know what I mean. <laughs> I'm making music Rex, to state yeah. an opinion, make a difference, and influence people, inspire people, and get them to do the best that they can, do the best that I can, mm. while you know living the best that i want at the same time like the validation can like be one side that's mm. that's why i can openly sit here and and speak what i speak mm. and i can say what i say in my rap songs because i'm not here for the validation i'm not here for the coins i don't mm. have to be here for the coins mm. i don't care about because you're nice like that huh <coughs> <laughs> <laughs> no nah, but for real i don't know yeah, no, 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 i'm joking yeah yeah, yeah yeah i get you i don't give a i don't give a damn about the coin so that gives me the luxury of being authentically me 100% of the time. Okay, so now as we wrap up now, like, you know, man, I'm all about, like, manifesting and all that stuff, man. Mm. In my mind, bro, you're already successful. You already made it thank and you, all that you. stuff, man. Yeah. But we still need to bring that to light. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. So now I'm going to take you 10 years into the future where now you're looking at a video that you done did today and all that stuff, man. And then I'm going to take you back to where we are right now. Mm. And then I'm going to ask you to, like, look at that camera over there, man. Mm. Uh, and tell send yourself a message so to speak man to this camera over here you know what i'm saying mm. like you've already made it and all that stuff send yourself a message i'm gonna show you this like five ten years five, from ten now years from like, Yo, i bro, hope you still have it of course <laughs> uh, bro, it's on youtube you stay there forever dog until <laughs> until i say so um but then yeah talk to the cameraman and then and then yeah man let's get it bro let's go yo nappy cat is yeah. past you and that and, 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 and that camera there yeah. especially that camera yeah um Actually, you know what? Not just Nappy Cat. Nappy Cat and DJ Boppin, yes, you know, sir. it's passed you from five or ten years ago. You know what I mean? We're here, we're Massive Metro, we're doing the things. And, you know, I can see you've made it to become one of the biggest in the world. Yes, just sir. like you said you would. You know what I mean? You proved the point to everybody that you said you're going to prove a point to. Rubbing shoulders with Kanye, making music with Drake. We saw it coming. We Dog. knew it was going to happen. Yes, sir. Appreciate you for executing it, man. Shout out. Remember the name, Nappy Cat Nappy and Cat. DJ Bobbin, man. Remember the, the name, Nappy Cat and DJ Bobbin, man. Remember <laughs> the name, Nappy Cat and, and DJ, DJ Bobbin, Bobbin man. Yeah. I'll say it one more time. Remember the name, Nappy, Nappy Cat, Cat and, and DJ, DJ Bobbin, Bobbin man. man. Everybody in the studio, man. What's this man's name? Yeah, 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 yeah,